Welcome back to the Knife of Dunwall. We've gone through the secret sewer entrance that we called in a favor to get access to, and now we've just entered the slaughterhouse. Let's follow the trail of viscera. Also, there's terrible noises coming from in here. was worried about this. We read a note a little while ago about the butchery of these whales, and, and they said something about, like, taking life away from it piece by piece, cutting it to bits, and they made it sort of sound like the whale was alive while they were doing it, and I thought, oh, no way, right? Why would it be alive? It's alive! They're cutting these things to pieces while they're alive? I can't even put into words how horrifying that is. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I wasn't paying any attention to this. I think. Break's over, looks like. When's this day gonna end? I think somebody was attacking one of the slaughterhouse workers, probably for daring to unionize. It's going to be hard not to think about that poor whale. Why don't they put it out of its misery? Is it that hard to kill the thing? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. What was that? What just exploded? Jesus Christ. Did they... Die? No, they're unconscious. They're fine. Okay. These non-lethal takedowns sure feel pretty lethal. Between the blood and the exploding noises. Excerpt from the founder of the Greaves Whale House by Ebenezer Greaves. Out at sea they secure the beast with hooks, with lines cast from the main ship and from several smaller boats. Buoys keep the whale from diving deep. Once it's caught, a larger hook is driven through the tail, which is used to hoist the creature up through the chute. They moan and bellow for some time as the men get them onto the deck, then lift them into the scaffolding overhead. The ship adjusts its prow and returns to port in Dunwall, where the crew works on the great creature, slicing off the fattiest parts while it still lives. Jesus. Not that it even matters, but I'm trying to 
figure out some sense in this. Was this ever actually done in real life historically? Was it a way of preserving the meat, basically? Keep the creature alive and the meat stays fresh? Whatever it is, it is so disgusting. That is just pure torture, pure animal cruelty. Please don't explode again. Okay. I think they're fine there. made a full loop. Men, you'll collect your bonuses at sundown in my offices. Well done, my boys. The rest of you piss off. Dad, I spotted a makeshift interrogation room in the meat locker. It might be useful to you, considering our mission here. In the meat locker area is a makeshift interrogation chair used to coerce workers and learn their secrets. Guess we're gonna use that with the boss, huh? We can. We probably also just kill them. Usually that's the choice. Oh, there's the misplaced rune. The uh, safe code thing written on the wall. I thought that was inside, but apparently it's not because there's no marker for it. So that must be outside, because we never got it, certainly. Why did we just kill her? Drop her into the cannery. No one ever knows. You don't think. Bundry knows she'd be a martyr. A what? Like the Empress. She's dead, but they put her face on posters forever. They still care about her. What do we have? We have choke dust. I don't know how long that works for, but I'm tempted. So what are you gonna do? I'm not doing nothing, but Mr. Rothwild has her in his office right now. He'll work things out. I hope you're right, but if she mouths off to me, she's whale meat. Fuck you. Well, that didn't work great. Ah. Get that thing the fuck away from me! Oh! That thing's a gun, too? That was messy. 
Uh, did the one I tried to take out first die? They didn't die because of me directly, but they might have gotten eaten by the blade. No, they're fine. Okay. Whew. Yeah, that uh, choke dust does not last very long. We're at seven, the canteen. Do not interact with Anton Sokolov when he's on the premises. Generous offer stands. Half pay doesn't last. Want that misplaced rune? Probably access it from this room, I would think. the other one over there, I think? Oh no, that one, uh, I think they're coming around. Uh, I think we're good. Oh, although that weird explosion. Okay, I guess nobody hears it. Nobody but me. Saw me for a second. Ah, okay. Chums, if you come out, Pinky promise. Oh, I have no more of these left. You better hope I don't find you. You hear me? I'll find you eventually. You wait. Breathing this, you're all mine. Jet. Someone get over here. Die, hagfish. How do I non lethally? Fuck. Eat this. Come on, leave. I don't think there is a non lethal way to take him out like this. If I hit him with a sword, I mean, I'm hitting them with a sword. Oh, 
chums if you come out. Pinky promise. You better. Now we got the run of the room. Explosive solution. Luca, we grab these from some sleeping overseers. Next whale carcass that needs carving, try planting these deep in it first. That ought to tenderize things real nice. Even if they don't, it'll be fun. Mind that you don't blow yourself up, though. That is... A terrible idea, and also, again, it's alive. They're putting a grenade inside of a live thing. And even if it doesn't work, it's fun to blow it up. Jesus. This is where we started, so let's not go there. Just say it. Stop listening in on that Abigail Lane's tricky talk. She'll corrupt you. No, no. My head's clear. I know which side my bread's buttered on. I'll be glad when we get the order to get rid of her. It's only a matter of time. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, they're fine, apparently. Anton Sokolov's lab journal. Vivisection of the third live specimen is almost complete. Careful perforation of the lower diaphragm has brought me closer to observing secretion of the oil, but the process retains its mystery. This creature has weakened considerably since its capture and its output is quite low. I've attached electrical stimulators to the beast. A mild current increases output by 20%, to the considerable complaint of the whale, I might add. Increasing the voltage will likely kill the creature, as further exploration will have to wait on a stronger specimen. For now, the music continues. Ugh. Makeshift interrogation chair. Rothwild must be using it to coerce employees. I agree to renounce any association with any employee union, da da da. So this is where they strong arm and probably torture the workers.
we're back here. Whale vivisection. Excerpt from the notes of a natural philosopher aboard a whaling ship. Remarkably, each specimen I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variants in physiology. On the second leg of the trip, east of Tivia, the crew hauled aboard a female some 42 feet in length. I estimate she weighed 35 tons and the ship sat low, rocking side to side through the night with her thrashing. By candlelight, I took her apart, sketching and taking notes. Against her bellowing, I cut into the massive tentacles around her mouth. Within, I found row upon row of teeth and a baleen running along the upper jaw. Through this broom-like structure, I assume she filtered food from the water that was too small to be chewed. The other one here too, they must have. Skimmers like you. Always sneaking and snooping. Quit hiding. Stupid. I know gotcha. Oops. Better hope I don't find you. You hear me? I'll find you eventually. You ain't leaving this place alive. I hate skimmers like you. Always sneaking and snooping. Quit. Top item. I'll cut you to pieces. Damn it. Perceptive buggers. Help. Ooh. Come on, Okay, yeah, they can still see me. Yeah, it looks like when they're in this alert and alerted state, they have a really, really keen sense of perception. So you gotta be like directly behind them or they'll see you.
Where do you? Ah. <laughs> Excerpt from a company pamphlet operating a butcher saw. First, a reminder. All equipment within the Rothschild Slaughterhouse is the sole property of Mr. Bundry Rothwild himself, leased to an individual worker on a per-shift basis. A butcher's saw is not to be equipped and used without proper training and authorization. Misuse of the equipment could result in disfigurement or death. The saw itself is composed of three systems, power supply, cutting blade, and chip ejector. The reciprocating blade is cast of hardened steel and, when properly maintained, provides severe sharpness. It's crafted to slice flesh, but will cut bones with ease. The mechanism for powering the blade is a harness supporting custom-sized tanks for whale oil, capable of driving the saw for an entire shift before refueling is required. Care must be taken not to strike, heat, or electrify these tanks. The ejector is a new modification, casting out a stream of flat blade fragments. Since the girth of a whale often exceeds a butcher's reach, the ejector allows for blasting away unwanted offal or breaking down dense bone at a distance. Oh, so the bullet, well, seems like shooting bullets feature of the thing is actually for cutting. It's not for defense. Those are nasty toilets. Back here again. for shipment to the most distant point of the Empire. And fitted for live cargo, too. Survivable. If they had a fast ship. I wonder who this was meant for. You box somebody up in that thing and they won't be back in town for months. Is that a way of scaring and... getting rid of workers? An empty crate fitted for live cargo is going to be shipped away soon. Maybe that's going to be our out. <laughs> Maybe that's how we're getting out of here. Would rather not. Oh, Jesus. Exit slaughterhouse. No. Oh, God, what the hell? 
The UI said I would grab it. That was not a grab. When was my last save? Oh, fuck. I guess that's not that far back. Assuming I don't mess this up. Do I have any, uh... I got three of these. I guess I'll just go ahead and use them. Wait, what? Oh, the three I was looking at is that it's number three on the keyboard to select it. Never mind, I have zero. What shall we do with a striking worker? <laughs> what shall we do with you, Miss Ames? If you're wondering why I'm waiting to do the next blink, it's because if you look at the mana bar, if you do one blink, it takes up a little bit of mana. And they have a system where you can regain up to a certain amount of mana. Um, I'm not sure how to explain it. If I do one blink like this, it will regenerate all my mana. As long as I wait for it and don't do another one while it's regenerating. But if I do two... It'll regenerate to a max that's less than the max we started with. So we effectively use no mana if I wait for it to recharge before doing a second blink. Just gotta be patient. That almost threw me over again. Why is there a body over there? <laughs> Two out of six runes found. That's not that many. Written in blood, you are safe now. No one can find you here. No one. No one can reach you here. I almost died trying, and I'm a better climber than any of them. But you gave me claws for the climb. You want me as much as I want you. We'll stay here until they've forgotten about us. We'll stay here for as long as it takes. I feel like sleeping. But don't leave while I sleep, because I need you. I'll stay as long as I can. Forever. Oh, so they were attracted to the rune. Drawn in by it. Let's see what we can get. We have one rune. It costs two to upgrade. Four. We could get summon assassin, summon a novice assassin to fight by your side. Uh, it sounds like a lethal approach. Strategic tips. Your assassins will fight relentlessly at your side. They're useful as an extra blade in a fight or as a distraction to keep enemies occupied while you slip past. Your assassins will behave like any other character in the world and can be hurt by rats and security devices. If they're not in combat, they also might have something useful or interesting to say. Intriguing. Sounds mostly good for fighting, but maybe a little bit for other stuff too. Vitality. Health is increased. Bloodthirsty, build up adrenaline, then trigger brutal melee fatalities. Not something I'm interested in. Level 2 costs 3. Shadow kill. Unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die. Well, that's also for killing, so that's kind of irrelevant. Yeah, it's only worse for dead people. Can't get arcane bond. 
I guess I'll get someone as assassin. The assassin ally will choose the nearest enemy and attack. If you targeted an enemy, the assassin will attack that character first and move on to other nearby enemies. If the assassin is summoned with nobody nearby to attack, he'll stick around for a while before disappearing. I don't even think I'm going to be able to use them as a distraction because if they get seen by enemies, then they're going to start fighting and they might kill people. So, how about that rune, huh? for maintenance? Ah, yes, it must be. Thank you. Is there anything we could spend that on even if we wanted to? Yeah, health increase. It's always good. We still need to find the Weeping Eye. Oh, is that going to come from the whale? God. And I still need to find the combination which is outside. I never really did anything in this room, the room of the whale. The power system in there looks like it will put down that whale in an instant. I almost think you should. I know they're just beasts, but still. You can put it out of his misery? Yes, please. It's gonna alert everybody, of course. I should probably take everybody out before I do that. Guess that's fine. I don't think anybody will discover them there. What shall we do with a striking world? <laughs> what shall we do?
Whoa. Butchers, get over here. I think I went on their face. Well, I think the only non-lethal way I can deal with them without waiting for them to lose track of me is probably... You have anything interesting to say? Hello, friend. Thomas. The smell of this place, even with this mask on. I don't know if that was helpful, but yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? That uh, didn't work. Does it need a battery? Electrocuting a whale, I've set up this device to stimulate the whale's nervous system with the intention that doing so will prolong oil secretions and squeeze more of the precious fluid from each catch. Unfortunately, this device can lead to the instant death of the beast if too much power is used. Filling both tanks and activating the device extinguishes all life functions in an instant. A painless and quick experience for the whale, but at the loss of the additional revenue that can be generated by sustaining it as long as possible. Mysterious object, Anton. This thing was found in the belly of catch number 184 when we were processing it. I've seen plenty of weird things in a whale's gut, but never one of these. Must have consumed it in the deep, and I think it's been in there quite a while. Don't ask me how I can tell. If you have any ideas on what this may be, please inform me. One of these was recovered back in the month of wind, but I haven't seen it, or the man that found it, since then. That's probably the favor that we called in, the one that they haven't seen. Now they can finally rest. Good. Harvesting whale oil, excerpt from a manual on draining whales and refining the oil. In earlier years, the methods used to reclaim whale oil from blubber were both inefficient and dangerous. The original technique required the raw blubber to be sealed in pressurized cookers, which forced the volatile fluid out of the tissues and into collection tanks. The refined oil was then cooled rapidly while the pressure was reduced, and if the synchronization of these processes was not perfect, it was possible for the oil to release all of its energy in a devastating explosion. This is believed to be the cause of the historic Fullerton Whale House explosion that cost over 150 lives. Modern industrial trends have reduced the dangers of collection while increasing the output from each creature. Greaves Refinery made the first steps in live collection, aided by research from the Academy of Natural Philosophy. In the wake of the plague, Greaves has suspended operations, and this process is now applied at the Rothwild Slaughterhouse. No longer is the whale blubber removed and harvested, but instead the very mechanism that creates the oil inside the whale is stimulated, and the resulting oil is drained away and stored. This results in a more stable raw oil that is easier to refine, with more tanks harvested from a single whale. I feel gross every time I read anything about these whales. Ooh, 
sleep darts. Not sure if I need them anymore, but at least I have some. Alright, I guess let's go back out the way I came in. Because I want to get that safe. I don't know, it might be that we have to exit and go out the other way. Or maybe just access from the side. I can access the side of this place from the outside. I never went there. Wait, it's only 20 meters away. Oh, it's just back here, isn't it? Aha! Failure to report for work at industries deemed vital to state interests has been declared treasonous by the Lord Regent. Is it on the inside or something? Like, I don't... Am I missing something obvious? Oh, it's not literally right there. It's just on this wall. 947. I think the time card will allow us to go through the front entrance, which we don't need anymore. And 100 coin. Yeah, I don't think the coin directly paid for how much we paid for the favor, but considering everything else we also got, totally worth it. I guess let's go back in the same way. Let's go into Rothwild's office.